Hey everyone, welcome back to Painted. I am Maury Curtis Dunbar. I'm your host. We're going to introduce you today to a few products and then we're gonna check out some new foils. Um, as you know, we carry paintable surfaces and you may have seen me working on, hey Susan, you may have seen me working on one of our crowns or one of our chickens or even one of our pigs and of course the sand castle so we have all of those but what you may not realize is because we just brought them in we're getting ready for warmer weather so we have a pineapple and we also have this beautiful cross we have our ever so cute kitty cat. Our, let me go reach a little further. Oh my gosh, my arms are not long enough. This is probably my favorite one. The cupcake. I love this. Think of how cute that would be for a little girl's room or a birthday party. And then the final new one is two pieces and it is a sun with sunglasses. How fun is that? So we have all of these brand new cutouts. They just arrived today. They are on the website. And the most expensive one is $16.25. So you're looking at some great prices on top of being terrific surfaces. I want to do a pineapple. I want to do pineapples and hang them in my backyard. The other thing we're gonna do is show you some new foils. So I'm gonna turn the camera around to my other workstation because if you look down here, it is wooden surfaces galore. So what we're gonna do is turn all the way around, if I can make this do that, to our painting surface right there, because you can see we've got a board set up. And I'm coming back over this way into another chair. And good to see you back again. And we have our wonderful, let me angle this camera down just a little bit. So we have a, a polystyrene board that we primed with set coat in uh, charcoal gray. I believe this is charcoal. I'm not sure, I can't really remember, but it's dark enough it looks like charcoal. And we put uh, Artsyville foil adhesive on it. And now I did this like, a week ago and you can see it's still good and sticky. There will be dull spots on it because I've dropped things on it since I did it. But I wanted to introduce you to a couple new foils. Now, occasionally when I order foils, I get a little surprise in it. And the reason I am wearing a shirt like this today is because somehow she knew it sent me a foil that matches. <laughs> I think that is the cutest thing. Somehow, I got camo in colors that almost are identical to my shirt. I mean, how did, how did the heck did that go? Hey, Susan A. Carey, nice to see you. Hey, Barbara. You are watching me from a houseboat in Puget Sound? Well, that, I mean, aside from the fact that, you know, you're kind of on lockdown with it, a houseboat on Puget Sound sounds like a great place to be. All right, so I'm trying to get some of this foil off, and of course I can't get at it the way I need to, so I'm just going to make a mess out of it and chop it apart. Um, and don't worry, these little shredded scraps all get set aside and get used on other projects. I don't throw foil away. All right, I'm going to cut off a little piece here, and we're going to do a little stripe. And really, these are sample rolls that I get. These are tester rolls um, to see how we like these products and if we think they can sell for us and if they should be brought in and ordered. So that's what the point of these rolls are. Now I've got my scrub brush. I can't guarantee great release right now because like I said, I've been dropping stuff on this board for over a week. And so I have no idea how badly I've screwed up the adhesive, but truly this is a me screw up, not a product screw up if there's not 
any good release. And you can see I'm rubbing it with my hand and you might not be able to see it on the camera. Uh, let's see if I can get that angle right there. There's a little bubble right here. And as I rub it, it comes back clear. And what that tells me is it's released the foil on the surface. So if I ever have one of those bubbles, I like to embrace them, work them, see if I can make them bigger because they will help release the foil better. Oh, and it already is ready to go. I mean, look at that foil. Look at that. You know, I'm gonna, ang give me just a second. I wanna angle the light this way because I realize I'm f doing this in the dark and you're not seeing it well. So let me move my light. Hopefully you will see a little better now that I've shifted that light. I think you can, unless it's creating a heck of a glare. I know I'm staring right into a light bulb, but look at that. Look how that released. That's so great. And again, it matches my shirt. Jennifer, I don't know how you did that, but now I can foil myself some fancy clothes to match my fancy shirt. And now this is another one that I loved. Um, this is got stripes in it, zigzag chevron pattern in a holographic, which I just think is the cutest thing. Let me see if I can find where it's opening. Okay. And I know we already know I'm going to butcher opening this, so don't get too worked up. I should have opened all of these before I went on, but of course I didn't think about that. Every day I've learned something new. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take that and I stabbed a hole in some of it. That's okay, I'm just gonna trim it off. And I'll set it to the side with the other ones. I don't throw away foils. that down on there. Trim a little piece off. Okay, everybody be better at what you're doing than I am because I've been throwing stuff around and I'm not even watching where I am in the frames to see if you all can see what I'm showing you. Oh, I like that. And again, horizontal and verticals are always the best when applying foils to the adhesive. Why? Because if you scrub in circles, you are likely to see those circles show up in your final release. Oh, that's so cool. I just want to scrub a little more right here. And look how great the release is on that. Yes, there's little spots. You're never going to get 100% perfect release, but you get darn near flawless with this. And look at that great pattern. I love this. Carrie, hi, how are you? And Kat, uh, I'm sorry, looking at the names at an angle. Uh, Carrie Lynn, nice to see you. Christina, glad you popped in. Now we've got a couple others, so I may have to cut some of these into smaller pieces if we're ever going to see any of them. I have, let's see, Black Halo Rain, Art Glass and Brown. Uh, this one doesn't have a name, but it's pretty cool looking. And we have, let's see, Small Speckle Gold. And then Bigger Glitters. A red one and a gold, and I'm gonna set the golds aside. I think I want to do. I'm gonna cut three pieces and do them here so that we can see both these. This uh, the. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna do this one that doesn't have a name first because it's a really cool pattern, and I've been meaning to open it and take a look at it. So if I'm on here with you, it forces me to do it. Oh, I hate these labels. Nothing ever wants to come off. Crap. Oh, well. 
as usual with one of my lives, something interesting is going to be happening. Um, usually the fact that I can't get something open, or I've spilled, but today I have no open liquids around me, so the goal is not to spill. And, you know, if I had my X-Acto knife over here with me, but no, that's sitting over across the room, and I've already gotten up once and changed the lighting and messed around with everything, so I think we'll just stick with what we've got going here. Cut that little end piece off, stick it to the side. Part of the reason I cut the end piece off too, besides the fact that I've shredded it, is that if I want to order it, it has the product number on it, so I can actually see what it is. Look at how cool that is. That's an interesting pattern. Never done this one before. It's almost like stone and holographic stuff all at once. Ooh, there's a big chunk of something on this board. Uh, where did you get the board I'm working on and what is it? Okay, uh, Carrie Lynn, these are polystyrene boards and we use them to make samples. I carry them at paintedstudio.com. Just look under paintable surfaces. They come 18 by 24. Oftentimes I cut them in half and then I get double the boards because I don't always need a, a full size board. I don't work on the same sample size samples for furniture as I do for a wall. So half size is usually fine. You order one, you cut it in half. It's been primed with faux effects set coat in um, charcoal gray. And then we've applied Artsyville foil adhesive over it and we're releasing samples of foils to see how they work. You have to have adhesive to release a foil. Otherwise the foil sticks to nothing. You don't want to use um, anything but a top foil adhesive because otherwise you get bad release. And I personally have found Jennifer's Artsyville foil adhesive uh, to be the best I've ever used. I get really great release. I mean, I'm, I'm releasing this with my fingers. I have never been able to do that with any other foil adhesive. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at how cool that is. It's almost like a stone or a giraffe pattern. And it's holographic and it's got flex in it. You, I make you nervous with the scissors. Carrie, I make everybody nervous with sharp objects. The funny thing is, I don't tend to stab myself. Um, I tend to damage products. I tend to cut things where I don't want to cut them, but I'm really hurt myself. Now, of course, now that I've said that, as I'm doing this on a live with you all, I will probably stab myself. Okay, so I gotta get up under here. You know, I'm, let's, let's, let me intentionally make Carrie nervous now and s stab towards my hand. I'm probably making a few other people nervous, especially anybody who's ever seen me in a kitchen. Um, but again, I don't tend to hurt myself that way. I have to go for the bigger ones. I have to do stuff like, you know, that requires a back brace and stuff. I can't just let it off easy with a little cut and a few stitches in my thumb. I think the last time any injury I did was just a few little stitches somewhere. Was like <laughs> in college when they had to ditch my thumb tip back on. Because again, gifted and talented person that I am, and you can see I have stabbed this foil with the scissors. I don't stab myself, I stab the foil. I'm gonna lay this on. This one's black holographic rain, which I think is really cool looking. It's, we're gonna have an interruption in the pattern because of the way I stabbed the foil with my scissors, but oh well, crap happens. But uh, yeah, no, I stabbed my, I cut, tried to cut the tip of my thumb off, but I'm generally, that was in college when somebody was talking to me in a long, complicated story, but not that interesting. But yeah, that's, that's the last time any of my injuries were really that minor. Most of my big injuries with sharp objects are much more major. 
usually don't require sharp, sharp objects, just my God-given elegance. Oh yeah, that's great. I like that. I'm gonna come back in here in a few places. This corner is where I've dropped the most stuff. So there's often, there's gonna be bumps and lumps and things aren't going to release quite as nicely because I've probably set stuff on it about 15 times already. And of course, if you ever touch the back of a piece of scotch tape a lot of times and all of a sudden the tack gets disappears, it's because it's picked up dust and surf oils and, and whatever from your hands or whatever it's touching. Well, the foil adhesive does the same thing. If I've dropped this on, a, you know, if I've dropped stuff on this surface half a dozen times, especially in this corner, which I, can, I know I have, um, it reduces the adhesive qualities. But still, that's pretty cool. Look at this black green. I really like that one. Oh, uh, Carolyn, thank you. Listen, I'm happy to answer any questions because it doesn't help you if I'm showing you this stuff and you don't understand what it is and why I'm showing it. It just isn't fair. Um, I like to um, share everything that I know because it, all it does is help you all make more successful choices in your products have more successful results in your projects. I'm going through here and seeing where I skipped because I'm trying to decide which, which one of these we should do. We could do this little glitter one. We could do the brown shattered glass one. We could do the red shatter or the gold cubism, I think is what that one is called. I just don't know which one. Black Rain, yes, this stripey one, this linear one is called Black Rain and I love it. And really, I, I let me un explain to you, I don't currently carry any of these foils that we're testing. These are samples that I've received. So if you want to have them to purchase, I need you all to kind of let me know which ones you like, which ones you think are successful, which ones you think are interesting. And we'll go on for there. Okay, we're going to do one last one. And since I can't make up my mind and I want to do something with a tiny little pattern again next to this one, I think we're going to do uh, the small speckle gold, which is what that one's called. And this is the last one, so Carrie can stop worrying about me stabbing myself. There we go. I, there we got that one open. Oh yeah, famous last words. There's another sticker at the top. There we go. Let's get that open now. Pull this back. I took a nice chunk out of that one. Again, that's still going just to the side. And I use all of these little things. I use them on eggs. I use them on details. When I have a small spot that needs something you know, zhuzhed up a little bit. All right, we're gonna take the last one here. We're gonna lay it on. This release is not gonna be pretty because I, I there was a whole lot of mess in this corner, but I just wanted to put this little bit of foil on so we can see how it released and how it looks. And if you notice, I'm not, I'm trying not to scrub over this because my brush will create scrub marks on the surface when it hasn't been sealed because foils have a little bit of fragility to them. All right, let's rub there. Let me just see how we're going. Take a peel back. Oh, that's releasing better than I thought considering the condition of this corner. That'll tell you how good the foil is and that'll tell you how good the adhesive is. All right. <laughs> and yes, I can absolutely see where I've dropped stuff on here. Okay. All right, there's that gold, small speck gold. Look how cool that is. And literally, this is where I've dropped stuff. This is where I've dropped stuff. This is where, so you can see, but wow, that is really just pretty. 
I'm sorry, Carrie, you, you, you got in too late. I put the gold on before I could um, give you too much detail. And I know we're getting a hell of a reflection. It's partially from where I'm sitting. It's partially the way the light is. Let me see if I reach over and get that light back over here a little better. Darn, that's bright. My, my light wants to go wilt. So there is the red, yellow, and blue camo that matches my shirt. We have the Chevron Holographic Silver. We have this one that has no name. We have the black green, and we have the small speck gold. So, uh, whoop, have it not fall over on me, because it has before, we all know that. All right, everybody, thank you so much for popping in today. It is day 1,067,000 of our quarantine and lockdown. We've been having a lot of fun here working in the studio, trying to create stuff to keep you all entertained and give you some fun creative ideas. Um, definitely, as you watch this, post which one of these foils that you like. I don't care how you name it, just name it so that you can clearly tell me. So we've got Let's see this kind of stony giraffey look, black rain, small speckled gold, chevron holographic silver, and red, white, uh, red, yellow, and blue camo. So however you want to put these in, let me know. I will start bringing some of these in if you like it. You know, just tell me. That's what I'm here for. You got it. I can't bring it in if you don't tell me. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I'm going to head home. I'll talk to you later. Bye.